It what's in your hand? It's a revolver. What does it do? To take combi wear. Combi wear. What is it? It's the combination of butanoid and formoterol. Oh yes, I know about butanoid. Let's explain. Butisonide is a synthetic corticosteroid drug and more specifically it's a glucocorticosteroid drug. In combi wear its amount is 400 micrograms. As we know corticosteroid drugs are very important anti-inflammatory drugs as we explained in our last video about steroids and corticosteroids. If you haven't seen that video go and watch it. So let me discuss the indications of butisonide. So, butisonoid is mainly used by inhalation in moderate to severe asthma and butisonoid can also be used against rhinitis and eczema. Now we will see the mode of action of butisonoid. As we know butisonoid is highly lipophilic drug and it can easily cross the cell membrane. Let's see what normally happens in the cytoplasm when the inflammatory response approaches. When inflammatory response approaches, phospholipids are converted into arachidonic acid with the help of phosphokinases enzyme. And that arachidonic acid is further converted into leukotrienes with the help of lipooxygenase pathway. And these leukotrienes are very important in causing inflammation. So when we take butisonoid drug, it approaches and it inhibits the phosphokinase enzyme as this enzyme is inhibited there will be no production of arachidonic acid from phospholipids and there will be no production of leukotrienes as a result there will be no inflammation there so this was the mode of action of butisonoid now we will see the conditions in which Butisonoid is contraindicated, which includes glaucoma. Because butisonoid can increase intraocular pressure and it can worsen the glaucoma. And it is also contraindicated in high blood sugar level because butisonoid can also increase blood sugar level. Hypersimplex and active or inactive tuberculosis are also the conditions in which butisonoid is contraindicated. Common side effects of butisonoid includes sneezing, constipation, nausea, vomiting, stomach pain and stuffy nose. Yes. Formoterol. Formoterol is LABA. LABA denotes long acting beta 2 adrenergic receptor agonist. In combi wear the amount of formoterol is 6 micrograms and it is given through inhalation. Now comes the indications in which we can use formoterol. Remember formoterol cannot be used as a single therapy. Rather it is preferably used in the adjunctive therapy. In adjunctive therapy it is used along with the butisonoid in the form of combiware, tab, combiware capsules for inhalation purposes. Remember combiware capsules or combiware formulations for inhalations are actually designed by the high known limited now for motirol is used for the moderate to severe cases of asthma now let's see what are the different side effects produced by the for motirol for motirol produces side effects similar as that of the short acting beta 2 adrenergic agonist if you don't know about saba then you will see the video Somewhere up, the, up there about albutrol and live albutrol, which actually denotes SABA's short acting beta 2 adrenergic receptor agonists. So, what are the adverse effects? You will see in that video. Go to that video and watch it. Now comes mode of action. The mode of action is also the same, but I will explain it now. Beta 2 receptors are present in the lungs, on the smooth muscles. So what is the function of formoterol? Formoterol function is to attach to the beta 2 receptors present on the bronchial 
smooth muscles and cause a relaxation of those muscles. As a result of relaxation of those muscles, there will be bronchodilation and bronchodilation result in the normal airflow of the lungs. That was all about for Motirol.